Hey, it's Don, the auction professor. Today, we're going to talk about another item that sells very, very well all year round. It's vintage Christmas ornaments. We're going to talk about one specific type that you should be looking for. Let's hop over there right now. So here we are. We're going to talk mostly about Dresden, which is a paper-based Christmas ornament. Most of these were hand-pressed out and glued together one by one in Dresden, Germany, which is where the name comes from. These stars, these fabulous pieces of art here are some of the highest priced ones you can find. They go for Halloween, they go for Christmas. It's a universally accepted design from back in the Victorian era when this was popular. $1,658 39 bids. Just a fabulous piece of art here. Another one. This one's almost a maniacally evil looking one, but these were used just as much for Christmas as they were for Halloween. Some of the Santa Clauses from this time have a grim and menacing look to them as well. It's just the sign of the times and the artwork you would see back in the day. $3,927 45 bids. This is just pressed paper with some silvering or gilt to the face of it. There's a ton of different types and designs. Animals were popular as well. Now here's another Dresden Moon. This one's double-sided. The double-sided ones are the best. They're harder to come by. Most Christmas ornaments, paper or otherwise, were single-sided. Now some of the Dresden did have double-sided. Those are the ones that you want. In my other channel, The Art Professor, I'm actually going to show you how to make some of these embossed ones from scratch at your own house if you're interested in seeing it. I have a link to my other page down in the description as well as in the comment section if you'd like to check those out. This is just a spectacular example, $815.26 bids. Again, these are all paper. Now here's a Dresden Black Cat. Animals were extremely popular. These could have been used for Halloween as well as for Christmas. Just a really unique example. These aren't very big, just a few inches across, just like any other ornament. They're made of two pieces of paper that have been pushed together or glued by hand in most of these cases. $1,900, 32 bids. Now here's a bird. Birds were very popular. The Audubon Society had just released a few decades before this their series on birds. So these were a big fad for a very long time. $795 for this dove. Here's an eagle, the same basic thing. You can see the seam down, the construction of this. It's made in several pieces of paper. Again, pressed paper. Now here's a fish. Again, paper mache candy containers were the fad as well. They're made out of Dresden paper, Dresden being the location, as I've said, Dresden, Germany. Just a nice example, $695. Here's a frog, another candy container. These are things that people recreate now still to this day because they are so popular and so scarce. $621 and 16 bids on this one. Next one's a dog. The key to these is they're all constructed the same way. Two halves of paper that were glued together to form a three-dimensional dog or three-dimensional animal, whatever the animal may be. This one went for $458 with 12 bids. Here's a bird, the same thing, birds being very popular. $450 for this Dresden stork. Now here is a fantasy piece. This is a Dresden Christmas ornament for a fanciful sea creature. These were very, very popular. Most maps had something similar to this. Even military items of the day, like a hammer for a flintlock, were made out of these dragons and sea monsters. $395. It has some feathers coming out of it that have been dyed to make it look like seaweed coming out of its mouth. Very, very unique piece. Next one here is a Dresden horse with jockey. Now, I've seen several of these with the jockeys all having different uniforms on. $300 is about the average for most all of these. Now, these are small, and you can see it very easily by the hand that's holding this. $300, as I said. Another fish. Now, this one's just a really nice piece. I've been floundering a few times. It looks just like a flounder. It's double-sided also. So if you flip it over, it's a mirror image basically of this side. $292. Again, these are just paper. There's some that are, aren't as fancy as this, such as this shoe here. Went for $195. And again, these are only a few inches tall. Nothing spectacular, nothing fanciful, just a piece of pressed paper that's been glued together. 
Now here's another one that was homemade. This one's actually pictured in a book and I've examined this one very closely. It does look to be the real deal. The book is right here. It's a real nice example. Anybody could have made this 150 bucks. Now the only part that's dressed in are those stars that are on the face of it. The rest is wood or cardboard with some paint on it. Very nice example for 150 bucks. Now Dresden lasted for a very long time. 50, 60 years plus Dresden was made. Here's one from the 20s of a pine cone. Very unique piece. They were making them out of glass at this point. Now these were competing against glass. So these were actually more expensive at one point because it took a lot to get them put together. It's multiple pieces, handmade in many cases. So just a nice example here, 80 bucks. They don't all go for a ton of money, but they still do sell. Now here's just a piece of pressed paper, $76 on this one, six bids, real fine example. These aren't super scarce. These do show up. You can tell by the price. It's not super high, only $76, but it's a really nice, unique example. This would probably be from the 20s or 30s as well. Here's another one from the Victorian era. Whenever you see them with green, red, and gold on the top, those are almost exclusively Christmas items and Christmas ornaments on top of that. The top could have had a tab that looks like it was broken off, or they would have glued something on the back to hang these from a tree. They weren't necessarily made to be hung from a tree, but that's where almost all of these were used at. $69. This is three inches by about four inches, so it's really not even that big. A lot of the Victorian ones were just handmade pieces such as this one here. It has some spun cotton around the edge, which is the white, a Dresden angel, and tin foil as well as some Dresden stars. 150 bucks. Again, on my other channel, we're going to show you how to make some of these very similar designs and some fanciful ones as well. These are collectible as well as the vintage ones, and the newer reproductions still sell very well also. Now here's a candy container, Dresden figure, paper mache, and then some cloth, spun cotton clothing. These are typical examples of Christmas items that were made out of paper. This would have come from Germany, the Dresden area as well. $849. This is a larger one, 11 inches tall. Another example, this is an 8-inch one. It has some rabbit fur. This is later, probably circa 30s maybe at the latest thousand dollars just over a thousand dollars on this one another one this is spun cotton which i'm going to show you how to do some spun cotton as well how to put fake mica on there and make them look very realistic like the vintage ones in those videos i've got on the art professor if you're interested six hundred dollars 27 bids on this one and the last one here is another spun cotton piece now, a lot of these are made with cardboard in the inside for a form and spun cotton stretched around them. Or they'll have spun cotton bodies with die cuts for the faces or Dresden pieces for the faces and arms. This one went for $493 with nine bids. Just a really nice example of this one. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you go. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts on it. I do have another video up that's going to show you how to make these reproduction Christmas ornaments from scratch. These are Victorian styled Christmas ornaments with actual Victorian die cuts added to them. I have complete instructions, including a download where you can download the graphics for this on my other channel, The Art Professor. There is a link in here as well and a link to the video right up here on top. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.